Hey, what is up? Welcome back to Freed's First Time. I am Freed, and we're going to continue looking at the Kavalon lineup. And today we're going to talk about the Distillery Select PD Cask. Now, notice I didn't say peated because this is not a peated whiskey. This is just a whiskey that has been finished in what they say rare, really special, and hand selected barrels. And they didn't say where they got them from but um, the general consensus is that it's a, an Isla distillery. Um, so if you're looking and expecting this to be a peat bomb, don't, because it's not a peated whiskey. The barley that was used to make this has not been peated in any way, shape, or form, and there's supposed to be just a little bit of the, of the peat influence given to the whiskey on the, um, on the maturation. So. Now, I'm not gonna go into Kavalon very much. If you want to, I'll link a video up there where I talk about, with some friends, talk about uh, the, the history of Kavalon. But it is pretty crazy, if you think about it. Just two years ago, the Whiskey Vault guys were doing Kavalon on Rare Whiskey Friday. And now Kavalon's basically ubiquitous in the whiskey world, at least by name. Uh, availability, and uh, it might not, not so much. But uh, thankfully, I live in Northeast China, so getting my hands on these is easier, I suppose, and the price isn't just insane. The, the Distillery Select PD cask, that is only sold at the distillery. You can't get it anywhere else. I was lucky enough to get this little sampler thing. Not sure where this came from, to be perfectly honest with you. It was just uh, sold to me through this uh, whiskey group that I'm a part of here. Uh, but the origin of it is not clear. It looks like it might be a duty-free type of thing, or maybe a distillery gift shop sampler type of thing. Not 100% sure. Whatever, it is what it is. But this is only sold in 300 milliliter bottles and is $180 USD for that 300 milliliter bottle. So that's like a dollar, what is it? It's like a dollar sixty, no, a dollar something something per milliliter. So if you were to bump that up to a normal 700 milliliter bottle, that would be $1,166 for a bottle of whiskey with no age. That's crazy. But speaking of the no age, if you look at the bottle, which I don't have the bottle, I just have this little, this, this, come on you, this little guy, which, Going back to our price rundown, this is $83 <laughs> for this thing. That's that's just stupid. Anyways, uh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Where was I going? Oh, if you look at the bottle, talking about the no age on it, uh, you can determine what the age is because if you look at the Kavalon bottles, um, on the Vina Barique you can, you can see it and all the other soloists as well. Uh, they have a distilled date and a bottled date. So you can figure out actually even more accurate uh, of the age. Instead of just having a 10 or a 12 or an 18 on the bottle, you can find out how many years, how many months, how many days this whiskey, uh, how old this whiskey is, which is pretty rad. So um, without any further delay, I've been tasting this a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there because I wanna try it with some water as well. But so far, so good. So let's give it a, a little finish off here. I like these little vials, those are pretty cool. I gotta save these and, and refill them. Oh, Jesus, I just cut my thumb. Jesus, look at that. All right, you're gonna hear from my lawyer. I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter. <laughs> just put it in there, disinfected. Let's continue, shall we? Now, on the nose, I'm not getting any elements of peat whatsoever. If you slid this over to me and asked me to find the peat, I probably wouldn't be able to. Hold on, I'm gonna get a tissue. You bitch. <laughs> Anywho, as I was saying, I'm having a hard time finding any peat or even smoke or anything of that nature on the nose whatsoever. Although, I did find it, I think, at the very, very tail end once or twice. Uh, it kind of stuck its head out and then just ducked away really, really quickly. So I could just been playing games with myself, but I don't know. But the nose is, on the whole, very beautiful. I'm getting, it does smell like it's sherry to me. Um, so I'm getting like some prunes, some dark fruits, raisins. Oh boy, that's beautiful. <laughs> uh, this is 50 ABV, sorry. These are all single barrel, these are all barrel strength. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention that. 
Uh, I'm getting like caramelized sugar, not caramel, but just caramelized sugar. Um, so it kind of has like that burnt, almost like a burnt sugar type of note. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Cream soda. It does have like a creamy, geez, a creamy element to it. <laughs> I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna keep going because you gives a shit. Um, yeah, it does have a definitely creamy uh, cream soda element to it a lot. And I'm getting like like a canned, like, have you ever had those canned peaches or canned pears with the syrup? Um, I know a lot of the elements that I'm describing do come off a little bit sweet, but I'm not getting an overload of sweetness in here. It's more of a fruit than it is a sweetness. But the, the sweetness is there, don't get me wrong. God, it's lovely. All right, now to the palate. Come back. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Ooh, that's lovely. Now it's it's fruity as you expect Cavalon to be, because it's coming from a subtropical place. They have a lot of they boast a lot of uh, heavy fruit elements into their whiskey, which they should. It's there. And it's beautiful. It's there, but it's also balanced with a bit of a peat that is just lovely. I mean, they're they're just playing with each other perfectly. It's really really nice. And uh, it's, it's a decent balance. I'm getting a lot of wood as well, almost like a cedar, which I found is kind of standard. It's almost like their house style. I'm getting like a cedary wood note in most of the Cavalons that I've tried. But that peat element is subtle and it's and it's it's it doesn't stick around very, very long. The fruit kind of does come up over and just kind of sit it down and become more of a uh, of a dominating element. All right, I'm gonna put a little water in there because I don't want this to go too long. Yep, yep, yep. Now this is my first time putting water in it. No idea what it's going to do, um, but I assume it's just going to because it's not that hot. I mean, it is 50%, but it doesn't drink like 50%. It's actually quite tame. The sweetness is coming out a little bit more. So is the wood but not the peat or any smoky elements. Well, maybe there at the tail end, I'm kind of picking up a hit of like a bacon, like a smoky bacon or a barbecue type thing, but it's tiny, minuscule. That's a beautiful nose. The nose so far is the star. Um, the palette, yeah, fantastic. The finish, it's pretty good. I would say like medium to long, uh, get a little bit of ashiness, it's dry, and, and the wood is, uh, the, Per, uh, the domino flavors on the finish. Um, but as far as adding water to the nose, it does mellow it out. Those fruit flavors are coming forward a little bit more. And I am getting, I think, a little bit of a, like a sweet peat note, but it's, it's small. It's small on the nose. All right, I'm gonna try it again. Hmm. Okay. It's a little spicier, oddly enough. Um, and the peat is is longer than the fruit this time. It's still there. The, the the peat vein. The peat vein is still there. The fruit's there, but the peat is sticking around. Remember how I said before the, the fruit would kind of overwhelm and just kind of push down the peat and then you would just get a lot of fruit. But the peat's actually sticking around now that I've added water. That's cool. I like that. I think I like it without more. But uh, definitely fun to, to tinker with adding a little bit of water. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Is it better than this, uh, the Vino Barique? Nope. Uh, it's gonna be hard, hard for me to find something that beats that. But look at these. I have a lot to try. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I've got, let's, let's do the list, shall we? Uh, let's see, we got the ex bourbon Solist, we got the Oloroso Sherry Solist, we got the Fino Solist, the Vino Barique, done that, and we have the Brandy Solist. Next, we have the Classic, did that. Uh, the Concert Master, Port Cask Finish, should be awesome. The Podium, uh, and the regular King Car. 
So that is what we have in our immediate future. Obviously, I'm not gonna try them all right now. That would be ridiculous. Wouldn't it? Would it? Okay, no. No, no, no. Self-control. Um, better than the break? No way, dude. No way. I'll put you back, you little bitch. You cut the last person. Um, but is it really good? Yeah, yeah. Is it that price good? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, cause it's super clean. It's really good. It's really light. There's not a lot bogging it down. It's so balanced. And... I wish they sold it in bigger bottles. Now you can get, I believe, a Solus Peated. Remember, PD, Peated. You can get a Solus Peated. Um, haven't tried it. I'm not sure of its price range uh, or even availability. I hear stateside, any of the Solus are difficult to get. And if you can find them, you're gonna have to chop off a finger to get it, which sucks, man. Uh, being where I am does have its perks. I'm very happy about that. But uh, it's a shame for y'all because you can't really, what's the point in even reviewing this? Because you probably are gonna have a really hard time getting your hands on it. Uh, and then when you do, it's gonna be just a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah, anyways, I'll enjoy it for you. <laughs> All right, well, while I was doing my notes on this, um, I was listening to music, and as I do, and honestly, every song that came on was like, oh yeah, and then another one, ooh yeah, that one, and then the third one, ooh yeah, that one, so it was really difficult to tell which song I believe paired well with this one, but I think I've landed on a conclusion and is going to be Love Buzz by Nirvana off their Bleach album, their first studio album. So if you get a chance to try some either PD or PD'd Kavalon, throw on Love Buzz from their Bleach album uh, by Nirvana and see if you feel what I felt. That's the cool part. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. All right, so out of all these, out of all the ones that I've I, I rambled off there, what would be a good one to go with next? Any preferences? Anyone to avoid? Leave a message. Let me know. And please, I hate doing this because I just think I sound like a twat when I say it. Please like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. I'm getting a lot of momentum. I'm feeling a lot of momentum. I like to get back into it. And, uh, and all of these likes and all of these subscribes, they do help. They do help. So uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, take it easy, and we'll see you next time.